The encrypting feature codes the email so unauthorized users cannot read it. Now, in order to use this feature, you have to have a digital email signature. If you don't have one, then you want to watch the previous training video and learn how to set one up. Because it comes down to, how do I send off an encrypted message for a specific user that only they can decrypt or be able to read it? In other words, to be able to send an encrypted message, you have to have a copy of the other person's digital ID. And the only way to get a copy of that is when they send you a digital signed message. When you get a copy of it, and then you send them off a message that you want to encrypt, when you send it to that person, it'll include their own digital ID. That means that that encrypted message can only be decrypted by that person who has that digital ID. So to put it another way, you can only send encrypted messages to those who send you a digital ID and you sent a digital ID. So in other words, if you haven't yet, find a digitally signed email from someone who you want to send an encrypted message to. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and save this and close out of it. And here's a message I just received from Carrie and I want to be able to send her an encrypted message. To do that, I need to double click and open up the digitally signed message she sent me. Go over and click on the certificate here, or the digital signature. Click on the details button. Select the signer's name, or their email address as it were. Click on the trust certificate authority. And it says the trusting a certificate authority means you trust mail that is digitally signed by certificate issued from that certificate authority, VeriSign. Do you want to trust this certificate authority? Let's go ahead and click on trust. And to verify that it's actually trusted, go ahead and click on the view details button. Click the view certificate. Click on the trust tab. And in here in the certificate trusted for box, it should say email encryption and authentication. So in other words, we can encrypt email and send it off to the person who sent us the uh, digital ID. Now, if it's not trusted here, and you haven't trusted it, then when you click on the Send button after you encrypted the email message by clicking on the Encryption button, you'll get a message that an error occurred and encryption won't take place. So make sure you follow those steps here and click OK. I mean, once it's done, you're good to go. Close out of here, close out of there. Let me go to my Drafts folder, and it's about the intent employees. Let me double click and open that up. Again, from the Message tab to the Options group, let me click on Encrypt and click send. Now I want to show you what it looks like when you receive an encrypted message. I'm going to go ahead and click on send and receive. There it is from Kerry, just a little blue lock. Go ahead and double click to open it up and you should be able to read it. That is if you're trusted. Of course over to the right you also have the encrypting lock. Click on it. You can look at the encryption layer, edit the trust settings here. I've set it now to explicitly trust this certificate. So you have your encrypted message, you have your digitally signed message, and then if you want the best of both worlds, you can click on the new message button and digitally sign it and encrypt it, and then go ahead and address it and send it and off it'll go. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.